Hello, this is Bexka2112, and I am doing a base tour of my early mid-game egg block base. This is mostly to show my mother my base, but if anybody else enjoys it, that's awesome. So, right, we started on this little chunk of grass here. This is gar this this mod pack uses Garden of Glass as its base. Right now, my Botania stuff is over here. Plans are to move it to its own platform soonish, but no room right now. Or rather, I get tired of building platforms all the time. Over here is a monster spawner I made to get started. I'm mostly ignoring it at this point because with egg block, I get all of my resources through chickens and boy howdy did they provide a bunch of everything I need. Nether portal I was going to the nether to get mushrooms, but the nether is a void world, so I had to do some other exciting things to get mushrooms. Cobble gin. I'm using the gadgetry block breaker, and I've got a void void upgrade on the chest, because there's not actually a way to turn this off? Kind of annoying. So to keep it from being stuffed up, it just dip disposes of the cobble. This is the junk this is the random junk chest from quest rewards and other fine things. This is my magnetic magnetocraft crushing table which was initially used for making plates and gravel. I'm not Magnetocraft is in the pack, but I'm this is like the second pack I've played where it's barely used for anything. And I'm not really sure what you are supposed to use it for because I tried using its guide and machines. I can look, read about the crushing table and the sluice box. Okay, and it's got electricity and stuff. It's a bit, it's, I would like to do more with it, but there's hardly anything to do with it. This is the could be useful in the future items box. See, over here I have a pin for my sheep, because I had some electric sheep spawn. I've been breeding them. It has been only partially successful, and I'm going to be going through and killing some of the regular sheep in the near future. Since getting dr dirt right now is a bit of a pain, most of their uh, pen is wood right now. I'm slowly filling it in with more dirt. Snip. Snip. Orange one, get closer to me. Eh, it's not getting closer. Let's see, I've made room to expand, which is good, because trust me, we will be expanding. Up here is my farm area. Right now I'm growing wheat because I need seeds for chicken breeding. Oh my god, do I need seeds. I'm actually probably going to set up a garden cloche soon just to automate producing seeds. And I've been this close to installing tape mouse for clicking on my wheat with bone meal. Industrial hemp. Canola. The scarecrows I got out of boxes, they're from Calculator. They apparently make plants grow faster, so that that's actually been fairly accurate because the hemp has grown pretty fast whenever I've needed to cut it down. I have a couple mega torches around because without them I have these poisonous dragonflies from Evilcraft that spawn and it's very annoying. See over here are my chicken pens. I've only got a couple of random chickens in here right now because I've got roost for regular for resource production, I'm just doing this to turn bales of hay into dirt. Which is currently my only way of producing dirt. Also, the chickens without faces are creepy as fuck. See, these guys are over here producing eggs and also chicken manure, which is a bone meal substitute. Which is the main thing I'm using them for. Got a roost and a roost collector that I'm basically just using when I need a quick bunch of 
resources that I don't have set up anywhere else right now. Considering I only have like one chicken set up currently. This is the moistener because I needed to make mycelium so I could get mushrooms. Chicken breeders! I've got six of them. They are all generally doing different chickens. I just work my way through them. My box of chickens. Drawers full of things that my chickens have given me. A couple auto crafters for exciting things like fences and scrambled eggs. And then this is the box of things th that I have gotten from chickens that I don't want to make more drawers for because there's only so many drawers I can make before I go insane. Also, it's I don't really have room for more drawers. Anyways, chickens. Look at them. So I want to show you something over here. Over there, across the way, is my first tech platform. To get to it, I have to go down the stairs, run around, and go up the stairs. So I'm going to be building a bridge shortly. But I wanted to show that to you while it was still not there. Coke oven producing coal coke and creosote. creosote. I'll probably stick a coal, ch a, a coal chicken up here. It's, it, because it's so slow turning coal into coal coke that it doesn't really need all 16 of a 10, 10, 10 coal chickens. Let's see, an electric furnace from Tech Reborn, pulverizer from Thermal Expansion, Gadgetry's grinders. I made the grinder before the pulverizer because I needed it to make the materials I needed to make a piston. Fun times. I keep it around because it has some slightly different recipes from the pulverizer. My windmill. I'm so happy with it. Because I, when I started the skyblock, I was like, you know, it's going to look fucking cool to just have a windmill hanging off the side of my base. And it does. Smeltery. And let me tell you, this took a while to make because the re he changed the recipe in the mode I'm playing to use pulverized obsidian to make grout. Also, you can't cook grout, grout in the furnaces. You have to melt it in a porcelain melter and cast it into bricks. So yeah, this took a good bit. And you know, usual tinker, tinker stuff, engineer's workbench, box of stuff. Elevator. If I can actually get on it. Seriously. There we go. Okay, this is power production and miscellaneous machines right now. The creosote oil is coming out of the uh, coke oven and getting sent down here to my compression dynamo where it is being used to produce RF. Presumably, why is it not producing RF? Oh, it is producing RF, never mind. One of my crush rewards, quest rewards was this demonically gargantuan drum, which has 65,000 buckets of water in it, so I'm just using it. What's the point of quest rewards if you don't use them? Let's see, the compressor and the industrial centrifuge were part of the process of getting mushrooms. I'm writing a document about my playing this pack, so I will, you'll be able to find more uh, more about the uh, mushrooms at a later point. Over here, tree fluid extractors, a block placer that needs some logs put into it, latex processing unit, infinite water source from pressure pipes, and an analog crafter making me bunches of dry rubber that I can throw into the oven to make plastic. Uh, in the near future, I'm going to be putting in a big pressure pipes tank to try something out. See over here we have a pink generator and a chick and my ten 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 my sixteen ten 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 pink dye chickens. They make pink dye, the pink generator burns it. The energy cell stores it and goes for, through these various machines that I'm not currently using, so it's kind of useless. The shredder here turns feathers into useful things and eventually paper, so 
and that is the base as it currently stands. Hope y'all had a good time, and I will catch you later.